Hi. So we're now going to look at a band five Christmas carol response. And last year's question, the theme, well, it was a theme question and it was on Christmas. So it's good to see a theme response for once. Uh, so just again, same as Christmas carol, we're going to go through and then explain the skills. So in the novella, a Christmas Carol, Dickens uses different characters to convey different views on Christmas in order to allow the reader to appreciate the true meaning behind the celebratory occasion. Okay, right, loads of good things already. Firstly, the exam board will actually give you a mark for novella for terminology. Not literally a mark, but it will give you, um, it will provide evidence that you can use terminology. So make sure you don't call Christmas Carol a novel or um, I don't know, I don't know why you would, but you know, no call it speech. Uh, so novella, always call it a novella and you will pick up marks there for AO2. So he uses different characters. This is really focused. This is the kind of approach you need to take to the essay. If you get a theme question, you need to think about how the different characters contribute to the theme. Uh, and this is the best bit here, to allow the reader to appreciate the true meaning of behind the celebratory occasion. That's his key purpose, isn't it? And that links very well to the context in that, obviously, um, there are serials printed at Christmas time. So already we've got sort of a contextual reference here, an understanding of Dickens' purpose, a focus on how the characters are used and the terminology novella. Scrooge, the protagonist, initially has an extreme despise towards Christmas. Not quite worded particularly well there, but um, which is seen during stave one in the extract when he questions Fred, his nephew, and why he finds the season so glorious. A time for paying bills without money. Time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. Okay, so let's go back to the top here. Um, firstly, lovely protagonist. Again, terminology embedded into the um, argument that he initially has an extremely despised, <laughs> extremely despised towards Christmas, which is seen during Save One and in the extract. So focused on were, so structural reference, and focused on the extract as well. Um, and the word initially is great because the word initially says to the examiner, I understand that this changes. So without, again, the waffly need to say, unlike in Stay 5 and he blah, 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 just stick in the word initially and then you're showing the examiner that you know it's going to change in one word. Okay. Uh, an understanding of the relationship between Fred and Scrooge, clearly embedded just by the embedded clause, his nephew. Uh, and again, an inference about Fred's attitude towards Christmas. It is a glorious time. You've then got the quotation that's selected from the extracts a bit long, um, but they've then commented he is baffled by the enjoyment of Christmas that Fred possesses as he weighs everything simply by the financial proof of it. So weighs everything is a lovely phrase. Yeah. And financial. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> financial proof of it. Financial profit. Sorry. Um, shown in the semantic field of wealth and money, e.g. bills, money, richer. So even though this was a long quotation here, they've actually used richer money and bills yeah in order to explore this idea of a semantic field a, a, a select collection of words linked to similar meanings in this case to do with wealth and money yeah so he sorry so this really effectively and and very cohesively and very precisely analyzes scrooge's attitude towards christmas that if it doesn't have financial profit he's not interested it doesn't weigh anything and um, even there's a lovely metaphor there in the way they've really written that uh, this highlights Scrooge's one passion in life, which gives no space for anything else, e.g. Christmas. I think it's important that they've put that there because that is the focus. I'm going to write F here for focus. That's the focus on the question right there. If they hadn't put that in, gives no space for anything else, it wouldn't. none of this would quite be pinned down here in the question. But by putting that on, it really emphasizes that they're focused on the fact that Scrooge has no time for Christmas because he only cares about money. It's a really, really valid point. He proceeds to say, that's a lovely link, a lovely cross-reference link there, every idiot who goes about with a Merry Christmas. He describes those around as idiots simply because they, they, view, they view Christmas as a time of generosity and appreciation rather than based purely on wealth, unlike Scrooge. So cross-referencing and comparing here, um, Scrooge's, well, how Scrooge feels about the people around him, namely Fred, um, and how he insults them because they think that Christmas is a time for generosity and appreciation. 
yeah so there's still a focus on how people view christmas and how christmas is presented and then this is lovely this is a message dickon wanted to convey that christmas is a time where people feel charitable however we should po possess these qualities always not just when poverty becomes a more apparent issue during christmas because it always remains despite what time of year it is all of that is a although a bit waffly um is basically a really inherent understanding of Dickens's aims here and what he hoped to do in the novel um, and the ideas he wanted to promote. There's also plenty of links to, to um, the contextual ideas here about poverty being more apparent during Christmas time and that it is always remaining um, and the idea that people are more charitable at Christmas. Ah, that says charitable. Um, you might be able to tell so far this didn't get full marks. It got 36 out of 40. So there's, um, and I think perhaps is a little bit less, you can see here there's a lack of conciseness compared to um, Inspector Calls. That's a long um, winded way of saying that really. Um, however, still an outstanding piece of work. However, Right, the, the word however is great because it indicates to the examiner that you're starting to be evaluative and you're starting to think about how this isn't the case throughout the entire text. Scrooge's hatred towards Christmas is something that has developed since he was a young boy and hence why it remains so powerful. Brilliant. So that's using stave two to understand why Scrooge ended up this way. He's psychoanalytically looking at Scrooge and how he ended up this way. Uh, this is shown in stave two. When the ghost of Christmas past takes Scrooge to a place of his childhood where he sees himself as a boy spending Christmas Day in solitude. Solitude is a lovely word. A solitary child neglected by his friends. Now, this quotation, the, the student has remembered, which again is a sign of engagement and is a sign of sort of um, a thorough understanding of the text, which you need to hit those top bands. Uh, this conjures the theme of isolation, something everlasting in Scrooge's life. So again, really insightful here about the impact that isolation, I'm going to write I for insightful, about the impact that his childhood has had on him and how that ties into the way he sees Christmas. I think it's very important that obviously he's spending Christmas Day alone. There's well-focused evidence there. Out of all the things you could pick from his childhood, it's the fact that he's spending the day by himself at, at, at this point anyway. His limitation to contact with others causes him to build barriers again really psychoanalytical there between himself in the outside world and his cruel ways so really thinking about what has made scrooge this way the language used here e.g solitary and neglected are a juxtaposition to how christmas should be spent very nice they could say that how dickens believes christmas should be spent um, just so it's more rooted in the text and Dickens' purpose. And it contrasts his experiences in Stave 5, so lovely juxtaposition, in which he is in the company of his nephew Fred and his family, uh, thus being the, uh, this being the pinnacle of the rest of the Christmas Day Scrooge will experience. Now, perhaps there's a lack of organisation here because there maybe could have been a conclusion here about um, how maybe Dickens used the Scrooge to represent that people who don't celebrate Christmas right or don't have the right attitude towards Christmas maybe because you know they have suffered in their childhood and that uh, that should be something that again we need compassion to overcome that um, and we need to sort of I don't know is there is there a route there to improve society by suggesting that things start in childhood and we need to make sure that our children are looked after if we want Christmas values to be celebrated through our adult life um again just a suggestion not, not something you would need to put in uh so here at the beginning uh, sorry at the end here we've got the cross reference to stage five this maybe should have started a new argument because this is obviously essential the way he changes his attitude to Christmas However, there's some nice cohesive link in here. It is the isolation he has been reduced to as a child, which have remained potent within his life, as all of the Christmases following, aside from the celebration during his work for Fezziwig, have been spent in solitude, and so he finds no sentimental value with Christmas, as to him, as to him it has, it has the same value as any other day, in which he barricades his, his feelings and with his money, which he is so reluctant to let go of, e.g. gripping, scraping, um, clutching covers results in it so sorry scrapping so we've got here maybe um just not quite coming back to that original point about his childhood except to say that he's always felt this way um there's just maybe missing here i think for, for, and this is perhaps why it hasn't got the full marks 
to be thinking about, like I've just said, about well, what's Dickens' suggestion here? Why did he bother making it that Scrooge has always been alone on Christmas? Why why could it not just be that he chose to do that as an adult? What what is the Dickens suggested by the fact that this started as a child? And how does that suggest that we should be you know, how can we save Christmas? How can we promote those values to somebody who has gone through that as a child, other than being visited by four ghosts, uh, which obviously not everyone can have that wonderful experience. Uh, Fred, however, is a character as a caricature for the good within society and his character is a juxtaposition to Scrooge despite their relation. That's beautiful. That's a really clear band five argument. There's a focus on juxtaposition. Um, the fact that he's like a caricature so sort of summarises his Again, there's another way of saying that he's a symbol for the good within society, isn't he? Uh, for understanding of Fred as a character, because he is, um, and an understanding of their relationship. So within one sentence, we've got so many skills there. That is a clear band five argument and paragraph opener. He firmly believes, really nice, just, just a personal response. Yeah, and that's what you get marked for, just having a personal response to the text. He firmly believes that Christmas is a joyous occasion, that it is imperative that people spend it in good humour, another good word. He feels that Christmas is a time of joy and celebration as well as contributing to those lower in society, which is obviously the ticks there because that's the whole point of the novel, isn't it? A uh, good time, a kind, forgiving, charitable, charitable, pleasant time. So again, direct references. Fred himself is a symbol of Dickens's views. Brilliant. Really good. Really critical. That's your band five there as well. That what he's used for is to represent Dickens's views. That's easy to do with Inspector Calls with Sheila as well. Believing that we should assist others rather than looking down upon them and reducing them to poverty. Uh, again, really clear understanding of Dickens's purpose there. His language, kind, forgiving, charitable, is a semantic field of good, will and optimism in which if people show consideration to others, it is far more rewarding than anything materialistic. Again, an inherent understanding of what Dickens was aiming to do here and um, links securely to the language. Um, second, semantic field analysis. That's fine. Uh, but uh, oh, they've missed out the end in semantic. <laughs> but just thinking about trying to make sure that you do have a range of AO2 um, commentary to me. He could have maybe explored some of the connotations of forgiving and how that's a Christ uh, how these are very Christy, all three of them are Christian virtues, um, which is synonymous with Christmas time. The structure of the play, no! Should be novella. That's what a lot of students do that because they've just written about Inspector Calls when they start writing about a Christmas Carol. So just bear that in mind. The structure of the novella shows um, as the play progresses, each day becomes more optimistic. Yes, very true. Although could say about Christmas. And during day five, Scrooge has completely redeemed himself and his character has transformed to have an attitude about Christmas. It's very similar to Fred's in which he views Christmas um, for a time of charity and cheer. Yep, okay, so this is kind of what they said up above. So there's a lack of cohesiveness here, which is, again, they, it will stop you getting on five. You do need to think about how the whole argument flows together, uh, which is hard under exam conditions. It was a most illust illustrious laugh. Here, Scrooge's emotions completely juxtapose those in stave one. His laugh is described as illustrious, illustrious suggesting that, he, that good human kindness is contagious and if shared, can bring out the best within people. Um, that's beautiful. That's beautiful analysis about Scrooge in Stay 5. Um, although could, again, be linked to Christmas a little bit more securely. Um, the context of A Christmas Carol is relevant to Scrooge's attitude during the start in which he completely caged himself in the poor. This was a common attitude among the rich who found the poor inferior to themselves and so would completely neglect, neglect them despite having huge amounts of money. That should have been put into the earlier part of the essay when they were talking about stave one. Um, due to the Industrial Revolution, particularly the 19th century London, where Charles saw most of the discrimination of the poor, the poor were exploited to work hard labour jobs for a meagre pay. However, the rich would be prejudiced to the poor and the only assistance offers would be a little help, e.g. the poor laws. Dickens reckons the well... Right, all of that is just tagged on context. There's going to be no additional marks gained there, really. Um, it's not linked to Christmas and it's not really linked to any specific evidence in the text. If it had been spread out and used when the relevant parts were talked about in the essay, um, so for example, um, when they talked about Scrooge's isolation, then 
highlighting that as being a common symptom of the rich where they would isolate themselves from the poor around them and from the communities when it was their job as the rich in the community to look after other people in the community that would have been much better here it just feels tagged on um and when i say that that is something that happens so in witness um obviously where i grew up the guy who owned all of the factories he opened like what is now the best school of witness he designed a park for his workers like there was an expectation that that the people who've got the money should be looking after those with less money and helping to shape the town to make it enjoyable for everyone and to make it so that the workers who are working for you are actually having a good quality of life because then their work will be better um so this is what dickens is kind of trying to promote um, just to finish off this paragraph then, Dickens recognised the willingness to share, however, during Christmas, and so wrote, uh, however, during Christmas, um, and so wrote the novella with specific techniques, e.g. an omniscient narrator, to make the rich aware that, like Scrooge, they too have the power to change. That's a nice conclusion, um, but again, it would have been much better if it had been linked securely to the band, the, the Stave 5 analysis about how he's changed. So through this change, Dickens highlights that um, it is not that it's not enough just to share around Christmas time and that people should ha adopt the same Christian values that Scrooge now has uh, throughout the year. Um, and he uses Tiny Tim, who is saved as a result of Scrooge's long-term generosity, not just his generosity at Christmas, Tiny Tim would have died if he if he'd just been given that one-off turkey. It, the important thing is that he becomes a second father to him. The long-term generosity that Scrooge uses is what helps to save him. Um, so those kind of comments would have tipped it much higher into band five, whereas now it just sits at the bottom. So just to conclude, cohesiveness, a range of AO2. Do not tag your context on like this because that won't get you the mark you need to embed it as you go along and just consistently link into how dickens wanted us to um, respond to what christmas time was about uh, and using a range of characters to to explore your theme would will be key um it's a it's a shame really that she's not mentioned the cratchits because i think that they are used to to demonstrate the value of family at christmas time and that actually the crack the cratchits are have a richer christmas day because they have family and they have each other and they you know, they're looking rich in their ribbons and they're all celebrating over the tiniest pudding possible. You know, they're showing gratitude and they actually have a lovely day just because they value being with each other. Um, and, and that's lovely to explore in terms of Christmas. So that's a shame that that wasn't explored as well. Um, I hope you've learned a lot from that. Um, again, any questions, just put them in the comment box um, or speak to me in class. Bye.